Come you blessed of my Father, receive the kingdom prepared for you, for the foundation of the world. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, graciously grant that by celebrating these present festivities we may merit through them to reach eternal joys. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Once, when Peter and John were going up to the temple for the prayers of the ninth hour, it happened that there was a man being carried past. He was a cripple from birth, and they used to put him down every day near the temple entrance, called the Beautiful Gate, so that he could beg from the people going in. When this man saw Peter and John on their way into the temple, he begged from them. Both Peter and John looked straight at him and said, Look at us. He turned to them expectantly hoping to get something from them. But Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but I will give you what I have in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene. Walk. Peter took him by the hand and helped him to stand up. Instantly his feet and ankles became firm. He jumped up, stood and began to walk, and he went with them into the temple, walking and jumping and praising God. Everyone could see him walking and praising God and they recognised him as the man who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple. They were all astonished and unable to explain what had happened to him. The Word of the Lord Give thanks to the Lord, tell his name, make known his deeds among the peoples. O oh, sing to him, sing his praise, tell all his wonderful works. Be proud of his holy name, let the hearts that seek the Lord rejoice. Consider the Lord and his strength, constantly seek his face. O children of Abraham, his servant, O sons of the Jacob he chose, he, the Lord, is our God, his judgments prevail in all the earth. He remembers his covenant for ever, his promise for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac. Alleluia, Alleluia. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Two of the disciples of Jesus were on their way to a village called Emmaus, seven miles from Jerusalem, and they were talking together about all that had happened. Now as they talked this over, Jesus himself came up and walked by their side. But something prevented them from recognising him. He said to them, What matters are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped short, their faces downcast. Then one of them, called Cleopas, answered him, You must be the only person staying in Jerusalem who does not know the things 
that have happened there in these last few days. What things, he asked. About Jesus of Nazareth, they answered, who proved he was a great prophet by the things he said and did in the sight of God and of the whole people, and how our chief priests and our leaders handed him over to be sentenced to death and had him crucified. Our own hope had been that he would be the one to set Israel free. And this is not all. Two whole days have gone by since it all happened, and some women of our group have astounded us. They went to the tomb in the early morning, and when they did not find his body, they came back to tell us that they had seen a vision of angels who declared he was alive. Some of our friends went to the tomb and found everything exactly as the women had reported, but of him they saw nothing. Then he said to them, You foolish men, so slow, slow to believe the full message of the prophets. Was it not ordained that the Christ should suffer and so enter into his glory? Then starting with Moses and going through all the prophets, he explained to them the passages throughout the scriptures they were, that, they were about, that were about himself. When they drew near to the village to which they were going, he made as if to go on, but they pressed him to stay with them. It is nearly evening, they said, and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. Now while he was with them at table, he took the bread and said the blessing. Then he broke it, broke it and handed it to them. And their eyes were opened and they recognised him, but he had vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us as he talked to us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? They set out that instant and returned to Jerusalem. There they found the eleven assembled together with their companions, who said to them, Yes, it is true, the Lord has risen and has appeared, and has appeared to Simon. Then they told their story of what had happened on the road, and how they had recognised him at the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. In faith, let us place our petitions before our Heavenly Father. For religious leaders, that they may continue to bring Christ, the light of the world, to all whom they serve. Lord, in your mercy, that we as a nation may respect the sacredness of human life at every stage of its existence and never endanger it through any action of ours. Lord, in your mercy, that those baptised into the faith may really believe God's message of salvation and allow it to grow through prayer and service. Lord, in your mercy, for all children, particularly those in our schools, that their friendship with Jesus may keep them close to him always. Lord, in your mercy, for a spirit of prayer in our parish community, that our lives may be examples to others of our belief in the power of the Spirit to renew and transform. Lord, in your mercy, we continue to pray for the sick, for those affected by the coronavirus and those suffering from COVID-19. We pray for those who care for them, for those isolated from them. Lord, in your mercy, for our loved ones who have passed through suffering to death, that the glory of the resurrection may be their lasting joy. Lord, in your mercy, we commend ourselves and all God's faithful people to the intercession of the saints in heaven, but especially we ask the prayers of Mary, ever-Virgin Mother of God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Father, in prayer we place our needs before you. Increase our faith and make us ever more aware of your loving presence. Through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God for ever. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, we pray, O Lord, the sacrifice which has redeemed the human race, and be pleased to accomplish in us salvation of mind and body through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give you thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Jonathan, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. For the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The disciples recognised the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread. Alleluia. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that the reverent reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation through Christ our Lord. 